went to brunch. He doesn't really eat out in general. Yeah, because I like home cooked food. That he does. Yes. That's the Jamaican in him. Yes. But we went to brunch. A proud Irish man. <laughs> <laughs> This is a verbal contract. Not the guy said, or Erica said, will be held against me or us. Okay. So, please right. fill in the blank. My I, I Erica Lasan, agree to whatever Nicholas Reed is about to say. I just want to do this before we lose light. This is agreed upon in all 51 states. <laughs> the United States. Yes. All right. Okay. So, you agree. I, I do. This the second contract I've signed in my life. All right. What contract was the first with a marriage license? Yes. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Kerrika TV, Adventures of a Liberish Mommy. You're currently in Alexandria, Virginia for a friend's wedding. If you followed the channel, know that typically Nicholas Reed does not like to be on camera. Um, involuntarily participating in this activity, meaning the camera on me. So why'd you choose this place, Daddy? None that you'd like to impart on us? Okay. Alright, fine. You excited, Daddy? I'm cool. Okay. That's my uh, countdown. They say Virginia is for lovers, right? So I wanted to do this. <laughs> Relax your eyebrows. I wanted to do this um, lovers Q and A. Nicholas. Yes, Erica. <laughs> We've been married for two years now. How do you feel like the past two years of marriage has been? Past two years has been great. If you ask me, do you have? Gone crazy as yet, and I haven't changed a bit, so I guess it's been. How did you know been... you haven't changed? What do you enjoy most about our relationship? Our openness. I would say that we can be who we are without being judged. I, I personally feel like I have to like be something that I'm not. I can be who I am on a regular basis. I would agree. Yeah. And I also like that you be who you are, explore whatever you want to explore, and just kind of support you the best way I can. I love you for it, baby. We've been together over 10 years. What do you think are three things that have made it so that we've actually been able to, like, endure the past 10 years together and then what do you feel like will also help us endure another 10? Our personality. You know like if we disagree with something, we get mad for a day and then we move on. Life is bigger than whatever is going on. You know like there's so much other things going on in the world to worry about something minor. You know what else also helps? What? Some great sex. <laughs> I was gonna be fine with the simple kiss, but you know, I'll take great sex any day. Thank you, baby. What are you going with to say? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what is one thing that you feel like you've learned about yourself through our relationship? Patience. You can be in a relationship and be selfish, but it's harder when you're selfish. So um, sometimes you have to be selfless. And being selfless, you know, like, you put a lot of your needs and your, you know, like things that you want and desire. Second, in certain things that I would want to do, I don't do because I take into consideration your feelings. Like what? Um, like today, I'd love to have gone to the marathon. The New, York, New York marathon. marathon. I'd have loved to go into that. He could have but, photographed it. But I gave up that opportunity to come to Virginia and attend a wedding with you. And you know, like it's not anything major. I always want you to be around, I always want to share things with you. You know, if you weren't here, I'd be wanting to call you and tell you, oh, this happened and that happened, but I wish you were here to experience it. And I love being able to share moments like this with you. 
how do you feel like parenthood has kind of changed the dynamic of our relationship or made it better? I always wanted a couple kids, you know, like a few kids, not just one. And you about to get more than one, so we can check that off the list. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's an extra person that we have. An extra person. Okay. See, oh, sorry. See, see. Okay. 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 I, I can't even ask the question. No, you can answer. I'm sorry. I'll sip my tea. Thank you. And I'm thinking, you know, both negative and you know, positive way. I don't think it has changed your dynamic of a relationship that much. What are three ways that you feel like I could better express love to you or for you, towards you? You know what I'm trying to say. I always wonder, like, who am I? Who's Eric Gustav? Who's Nicholas Street? And she didn't. Who are Nicholas and Erica together? Basically, that's a good, good question. Questions. That's a good question. Yeah. A lot of times, she probably don't want to hear this. Because you're getting mad deep right now, and I just wanted this quick response. I feel like with love. You find someone and you, you you have a connection with that person and throughout the years you it all depends on like how much of like that person bullshit you can put up with. And that, to me that is love. You know, like <laughs> sitting down and like yeah, like someone that, you know, like leave their dirty underwear on the ground. Someone that, you know, like might have a different belief system than you but you still, you know, manage to like care about that person, you know, like you want to be with that person. To me, that's love. It's true. I'm reserved. I don't really express myself too much. And Erica is the opposite. She, you know, like express herself a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they say opposites attract. <laughs> Basically, in a lot of ways, you show you love me. You feel like I smother you. I don't want to be smarter, you know, like, <laughs> I don't want wants... people all over me. My love That's... language is physical touch. That's and number I one. And... I love to hug. I love to kiss. I love to, <laughs> I was about to say lick, but I just love to, like, do all this. And I don't like to be touch at all. You're not touchy feel. That's one of her love languages. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, like, okay. I think that's a plus in a relationship that we're so opposite. Because if we were like, you know, like everything was similar, then we'd be bored. That's true. Where do you see us in like 20 years? 20 years is like right around the corner, you know? I feel like I'm learning more about myself and things change. I would like to be successful in whatever I'm doing and happy. Because I feel like the number one thing is like happiness. I fly when you're having fun. Time fly also when you're not stressed and depressed. <laughs> and I feel like for the past, you know, like however many years, I haven't been stressed or depressed. I have been happy. I don't know. What do you see us in 20 years? I see us together. I definitely see it. I can't imagine my life without you. You make me really happy. Like, even in moments when it's like, ah! Because sometimes there are those moments, but it's like, you know, it's like normal frustration, but never to the point where it's like, oh my goodness, like leave me alone um, with the family, a bigger family, you know, maybe like one more after this one. Then um, he feels like this is still up for debate, but it's not, unless God says otherwise. Doing collaborative projects, because like, I feel like we have a lot to offer each other not only in like love you're like a partner you know like we can partner up on more than just like having kids <laughs> okay my last question is do you have any questions for me is there anything in our relationship right now that you'd like to see change no you know what that's too deep right now i can answer it though quickly i do enjoy the quality time i enjoy us like having moments to ourselves especially now that we're parents we talk at home and you know we see each other every day but I feel like it's just different when you make it a point or like you make it an intent to set that time aside to be with the person that you with. That's it. I agree with that because you can you know like be in a room with someone and see that person every day and like you know like 
think that you think that you're talking and you're giving them your attention when you're not. Yeah. So, you know, I agree with, you know, sitting down, spending all the time. I'm glad that I got to speak with you. Uh, and, you know, dive further into the mind of Nicholas Reed, even if it's creepy guy, like, over our shoulder. Based on our experience here today, I would say that Virginia really is for lovers. <laughs> say anything else yeah except for if you like this video um, depends on what's inside this video you can like and subscribe to it doesn't depend on what's in this video if you like it but share and subscribe yes but until the next time guys live rich and happy dream chasing bye <laughs>